Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. There's been a new update to this game, which is annoying because I was planning on doing the Incognito Princess, but since the new update revolves around an urchin and apparently she's in Lustrum, let's go have a look. I'm in New Winchester, it's not where I logged off. I decided to come back to New Winchester, pick up some stuff that I needed. Lustrum is down here. There has been a few changes to the game, apparently... <laughs> The technique of laterally thrusting through the air in order to give yourself more speed to get through things has been nerfed significantly. I don't know if that's going to affect... There seems to be more of a gap between the jets. I mean, I can understand them getting rid of that one, to be honest, especially with the advent of the engines that have been added to the game that allow you to go quicker anyway. I don't know if they work through winds. Hmm. Well, that's, I guess... This is one way of finding out, that's getting a more powerful engine and going for it. But yes, there is a urchin, it's for the armistice. The day that I am recording this, Remembrance Day. The end of the World War One. At the 11th of the 11th. This is supposedly a thing about war, torn, children, which is a horrendous thing. Something that, um, is there, adults have a choice in war, children do not. Oh, why did I come this way? This drives spinsters and terror everywhere. Oh, this is one of the worst decisions I've ever made. Never mind. Run, run, run. We'll be fine. We'll make it through. Everybody hold your breaths. They won't detect us. I've been playing so much Death Stranding. <laughs> ah, wonderful. What is this? Hello? Something grave. Economy intrigued. A celestial ruin. The heavens are pocked with tumbled ruins from aeons gone. Some are melancholy, some malevolent, some hide treasures, other danger. Here in the ivied ruins of the reach, graceful with arches and bristled with sprouts of moss and mushrooms. Hmm. And conducting him a excavation? Should we do it? I don't normally... We have a lot of supplies. Let's conduct an excavation. This ruin seems more intact than some. If you have the workers and the equipment, you could risk digging deeper in to see what treasures they hold. Partial success. Is that 100%? God damn it. Break through a wall. Your excavators discover a broad pit that plunges into the ruin's foundations. It is filled with discarded glass vessels, most shattered. But those that are intact hold old, congealed souls. How many were discarded here, unwanted, and forgotten? That wasn't worth the trade at all, but oh well. We're almost at Lustrum anyway, I haven't really cut that much time out there, especially since I drove the wrong way. I should have gone the long way around, but you know, it could be worse. <laughs> Hopefully there's a little storylet here that tells me the, where to get her. Apparently she's going to be a stowaway. So, I might not even know. It might just be docking, I don't know. This may not be an easy storyline to follow. Hmm. The frantic hustling heart of Lustrum, crammed with prospectors, peddlers, and purveyors of essential and occasionally legal services. Most businesses take place here unless you're a dreamer seeking your fortune on the claim fields. Let's explore Lustrum. Let's do a few things here. Ooh, deliver, deliver the previously impounded goods. I forgot about that, but first let's write a port report. So much for the quiet retirement village that used to be here. The rush of prospectors has ripped the civility from the place as efficiently as the geodes from the mountainside. The scars that remain are no less vivid. Fewer and fewer prospectors return with geodes of ours, and the cost of processing them off-site grows every day. Still... For now, Lustrum thrives and offers the promise of riches for any lucky or industrious miner willing to come and risk everything in the snow and the mud. They have updated the UI as well, I've just remembered. Uh, I think it might be something to do with this. Uh, things have been highlighted better. Either way, it looks nice and I like it. Uh, let's deliver the previously impounded goods. There should be payment for delivering this. One of the maids from Murgatroyd's golden tea shop is on hand to collect the supplies. The mistress will be so happy, she tells you. We've been mixing the last of our leaves with soil to eke them out. And well, you can only do that for so long before you're just drinking mud. Oh! That is not nice, but we got 200 sovereigns, which is wonderful. 
Hmm. Don't see anything here that's obviously the new person. Hmm. I could seek a claim for safety reasons, or claimants must hire an hour harker to escort them on the mountain. The hour harkers all agree on the importance of this. Sweet Jane's Counting House, a little accountancy firm, snuggled in the snowy drifts. Sweet Jane oversees everything herself. The transference of funds, the balancing of probabilities, the transport of commodities, the termination of contracts. She is huddled between her desk, swaddled in a monstrously ugly red scarf, while she fiddles with her abacus and with one gloved hand. She heats the other over a little coal fire. Her one good eye focuses on you. She smiles. She has a request for you. Or for us. She limps to the window. Snow batters the window pane. The shadow of the mountain is all but lost in the blizzard. The lantern light means the offices of the Windward Company are just about visible. I was raised by the company. Children are faster workers, you understand. Her fingers drum on the windowsill. Such a waste. Where they see men, they see labour. Where they see time, they see chains with which to bind us. But where they see death in the skies, I see victory. She turns to you and smiles. Bring me the nameplates torn from London's ships, and I'll see you're adequately compensated. Eh. She reaches out and touches your hand just for a moment, as his ice cold. You see, now, that's not something I'm going to proactively do, but if I do see a dead ship, I can half inch its nameplate. Well, there is nothing here that is obviously happened. Hmm, it did say, it did say stowaway. Not in the bazaar. Oh, more munitions. Don't mind if I do. Okay, well let's let's go see if there's any prospects, and we'll see if anything weird happens along the way. I fear this one's going to be a very unique experience, a little bit different to the things that I'm used to. At least with the Chiropterus Horder, there was an obvious button to press to know that he was on your ship. Is this? She, she might be? Or he might be? I don't know. She, the, the Urchin might be? Or they might not be. I don't think this is the best way to go here. Yeah, let's, oh, then again, yeah, it is the best way to go, unless I want to go through the terror fields again. So we'll go, we'll swing ra round by Carillion. And I will go to New Winchester. I will cut in if anything happens. Might not, it might. Literally have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of curious who's going to win this fight. One Dreadnought versus a Scout and a Belcher. But he has significantly higher gun uh, firepower. The problem with the Belgians are they're big targets. Or Liberator, not Belgian. He do not want to be here. He, 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 he. Oh. Oh. Oh no, he's going down. There he goes. Oh, please don't ram me. The enduring Dreadnought is defeated. The massive guns of the Dreadnought have finally fallen silent. A hulk hangs in the firmament like a shed spider skin in a web. Viewed from a vantage of the fly, its sides are scorned and open, its window shattered. Smoke billows from its blind eyes. London will not see what transpires here. Let's check the navigation suite. 
an unlicensed chart. The lanterns have all gone out in the suite, and no candles are left to burn. The light of far-off stars filters through the shattered stained glass in iridescent shadows. Among the darkling haze of colour, you uncover a chart detailing some very illicit trade routes indeed. Was the dreadnought on the trail of smugglers, or was it looking to supplement its income? far away from London's watchful eyes. Part of me wants to kind of blow these guys up, but they're, they're, they're not hostile, so I'm not going to. But it is nice to know that the Winchester War is still going in full swing. I don't actually know who's winning at this point. But yes, I will uh, come back again. I just thought that was interesting, so I shall see you in a minute. Oh, good God! Bad timing. Uh, 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 take take the supplies. I have two in all. We need one. Okay, just some supplies. Bad timing. I'm finally finally guessed. This fight! <laughs> ah. I just want to kill the guest, but I think this is the thing. We have a stowaway. Something is amiss. Things are out of place. Unexplained cracker crumbs on the pantry floor. The chief engineer's favorite wrench hung on the wrong hook. Several empty pages torn from the back of your logbook. The crew protest their innocence and contribute their own stories. Vanished shoelaces, doors left open, oily footprints on a door frame. You have a stowaway. We can coax them out with uh, three tales of terror, or we can just use our mirrors, which we have enough of. So organize the crew and turn your engine upside down. It's only a small thing, we will find her. Or him. Let's level up. My god. After an hour of indignant stoker drafts, a sooty faced urchin before you. Found her hiding in a supply crate in the hold. She had a right little treasure trove in there. Cutlery from the gallery, Jones's Bible, and my best socks. He brandishes a horrible pair of socks. The stowaway picks her nose defiantly. That ass hat! The urchin wears an oversized skyfarer's coat, clumsily and drastically hemmed at the sleeves and tails. Her eyes are pale, accustomed to starlight. A muddle of old frostbite blemishes one cheek. When she speaks, her voice seems older than the rest of her. What is she? Twelve? Thirteen? Ask her what she's doing here. A locomotive is no place for a child. She shrugs. Just catching a ride, she says, insolently. I've been catching engines across the Reach and Albion for years. Seen half the sky, I have. Port Prosper to the Silent Saint. Sky Hedge to Carillion. Uh, okay. Ask her where her parents are. Possibly a sensitive topic. She looks at the shoes. Mishma mismatched and scuff. Gone. In the blockade of New Winchester. During one of them bombardments. Breaks off. Anyway, a neighbour tried to look after me, but I didn't like her much. Oh. Well, let's ask her what she wants. It might affect what you choose to do with her. She's taken aback by the question. No one's ever asked me before. Usually there's a lot of shouting and then I'm chucked off at the next port. She thinks about it, looking around at the bridge. He's a good engine, loyal. I'd like to stay, he decides. Until such a time as I don't. Uh, yep, let us stay. Of course. You could do with a mascot. Not quite what I had in mind, but... We'll acquire the Sky-Worn Urchin. 
What? Actually, she sal she salutes you inexpertly. You won't regret it. I can help out, like. I know my way around an engine. And I'm no stranger to the sky. I know stuff. I could teach you. Perhaps another time, you tell her. You shake her grubby hand and send her to bed. It's past her bedtime. God damn it. Ah, I'm still in a fight. Oh, Christ. Stop bloody moving. Oh, God. Uh-oh. I have to go through a, f a process in my brain where I tell myself not to click the rocket launcher when they're at that range. Ooh. Uh, we can gather another handful of... guests. Oh, can we actually make the uninvited? Gather one more handful of guests and you'll have enough for a weapon. Like Mother Yeast, the colony will keep reproducing. It will have endless ammunition. Oh dear. <laughs> After one last trip for a fistful of oozing, budding guests, you order the crew to leave you undisturbed. You have a weapon to build. You won't fire the guests themselves. That would be mad. Instead, you'll milk their secretions and project gobs of it through a pressurized launcher. Your crew are horrified, but they need not fear. You show them how to placate the guests with gifts of egg cups. Lockets, cufflinks, and other knickknacks. Preferably ones that were once gifts or mementos. But we actually have that now. Can we use it? Hearts of 25. Damage 30, range 750. Oh, well, technically, it's a better version of the. I think, of the Mark Mongol? Does that require. The cannons have their bowels full of wrath, and ready mounted are they to spit forth. This heavy custom weapon fires triple goblets of grunge, machine milked from imprisoned guests. It must be mounted into a large weapon slot. Well, I think my large weapon slot is already taken, so I'm probably going to end up selling it because the missiles are better in so many ways. I think. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Look at that. Damage 20, blast damage 20. So it does like 40 if it actually hits. Yeah, so it's better. That does 30. Even though it's quite hard to aim. Oh well, either way. Let's let's have a quick chat to our... She's actually a mascot. God damn it. The Sky Wall Urchin. She has made what is best described as a nest in one corner of the hold. A jungle of blankets. A chipper tea-stained mug, a handmade journal stitched together from pilfered pages. She keeps odd hours, often appearing at midnight to sit with this signaler on the late shift. She pulls her collar up when the wind howls, and she keeps her eyes down when the stars are bright. We can allow her on to the bridge. You are working late, checking your course against the cart charts. She's been in the galley, teaching the crew new swear words. But she prefers the quiet hours up here, with the stars stretched across the forward window and the clock ticking softly from the wall. Together, you pore over the charts, sharing stories of the places you've been and speculating about those you haven't. Ah. Okay. Well, we'll see what comes of that. Maybe she will, uh... Have a story? Maybe she won't? I don't know. I think there's a storyline revolved around the urchin. I just don't know how to start it. So that must mean passage times. We have leveled up. Passage of time. I said that really weird then. Um, could we do with more hearts, maybe? Let's do pestilence. Since arriving in the heavens through the avid horizon, you have contracted an unlikely illness. You are turning, impersibly slowly, into glass. The progress of the disease has halted for now, but where has it taken root? So beside your heart, your breast has become translucent, 
and allows an educational, if distressing, view of the coursing veins and thumping heart. We take pains to conceal it. Or in our lungs. You suffer from a perpetual hoarse cough and occasionally expel clouds of emerald sand into your handkerchief. Hmm. So do we want hearts and veils or hearts and iron? I think hearts and veils beside our heart. Not that that's a good thing in any way, shape or form. Let's just quickly stop off at Corellia and see if there's anything uh, for sale here. Bargains or anything like that. Whoops, crashed. We can lower our temperature. Uh, temperature? Our temper? No. Terror. There we go. Our terror has fallen. Uh, some bronze wood. We do need bronze wood for the Dusking's Deep Bridge Gate thing in Albion. So to go to Eletheria. So wait, I am going to try and stockpile significantly large sums of that stuff. Is it 25%? I have it written down in my journal that is mysteriously not on my desk anymore. But well, that's good. Um, where the hell did I put that? Oh, it's on the... Hang on. Found it. And it was... Concealed under a pen the whole time. Let's have a look, see, shall we? I hope we don't crash while I've got my hands off the control. Oh, God, we'll be still going the right way. Not really. Uh, no, no, we can definitely turn. Uh, da -da -da, some disguise. There's a page here somewhere. Um, seven bronze wood is twenty-five percent. Well, we now have three bronze wood, so that's not great. But we need <laughs> that's three more than we had. Plus, there might be a uh, prospect or something that I need bronze wood for. Ooh, hello. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. Crockery! Eat missile, scum! I missed. God damn it. Oh. I'm a goddamn bullet hell when that thing goes off. What we got here? Dig into the fun fungus for precious stones. We're not we're not eating it. I'm wait, can we, let's destroy the remains. I can annoy something. A terror has fallen and we gained a sky story. Your guns thunder again and again until the conglomeration is pulverized. Your crew cheer like spectators of fireworks. Uh oh. Ooh, I've just realized we're almost out of supplies. I guess that's because I jettisoned them and uh, all over the skies when I was there last. On the plus side, I think we now have more than enough crockery to do the... Um, this. <laughs> Only five crockery. I've been picking up crockery all over the place, so I, I think I have enough. Oh, another wreck. The King of Emeralds. That's a really nice name. Let's repair ourselves. Normally I prefer to mourn the dead, but you know, discontent. God damn it. Um. Duff and nonsense. Yeah, we're gonna reprimand him. Life terror. Not great, but we're not exactly too bad on terror. We're quite bad on terror, actually. I think I need to do something about that. Otherwise, we're gonna start slowly going insane, and that's never fun. Oh, we're almost at New Winchester anyway. Imperial's Archive. I always forget about the name of all these places. They have such cool names. I kind of expected something to happen with the urchin. Maybe it's just a free... a free mascot. I don't know. Maybe there's no story attached to it at all. And if that's the case, then I will probably... Just go to the Incognito Princess. Well, we could always have a look at doing the Repentant Devil. I always forget about him. We needed something for him, didn't we? 
let's see, do I have five? I do. What else did we need? Ah, fireworks are part of the war, not in there. Seeds for Port Avon? Three sacks of verdant seeds required urgently. Do we have three sacks of verdant seeds? Verdant seeds? No, we have one. There's a small chance they may have some for sale there. Happens more than once. Nectar for Carillion? Oh, that's a brilliant one. I have lots of nectar. What's it, five? This is going to be quite the journey. Uh, let's go to buy some supplies. Buy five of both of those. Right, so let's go to Port Avon first, because it's closer. Yeah, let's go to Port Avon first. I did not lower our terror half as much as I was hoping it was going to. Oh well, we can, we can actually lower our terror in Port Avon relatively easily with a few donations, so we'll, we may do that. Not too far up here. It's, uh, I was going to say, maybe maybe we could go stop off at the Memorial of the Unknown Rat, but that's actually quite a distance away from Port Haven. All things considered. So, I've been playing an awful lot of Death Stranding. Yesterday I was like, I'm going to record some stuff for YouTube throughout the week. And what I actually ended up doing was playing 11 to 12 hours of Death Stranding. I could not stop playing that game. Some of the reviews, uh, it... it makes me laugh because it's like 9 out of 10 but he, uh, and then in the review they're saying it's really boring and I can see exactly where they're coming from but on the other hand it's so compelling it's so strange so strange I was just going to stream it and like keep it as a YouTube series but what basically happened was I decided that uh, Star Wars is coming out the new Star Wars and Pokemon is coming out at the end of this week and I'd like to do one or the other on my channel. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Massive. So if anyone else is a huge Pokemon fan, let me know in the comments and I may do a series on it. I mean, I've got a Switch and it's all connected up to my recording software, so there'd technically be nothing stopping me doing it. And Star Wars, I'm also a massive Star Wars nerd, so I kind of want to do a series on that as well. Well, that's more likely to be a stream if I was going to do that, because I... I don't know. I liked doing my stream on Saturday. It made me feel good. People turned up. It was really nice. Uh, and people talked to me and things. And I, it's really nice to be playing a game and have someone actually there <laughs> to talk to. <laughs> Do you feel the 20 sovereigns? Let's go. So the thing about this right now, like me playing some of the guys on my own, is that I'm talking to myself. It's really hard to keep it going. What was that horrendous noise? I think the cat's trying to get in. Uh, where's the village green? Here we go. Let's take a relaxing, relaxing stroll around the village. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go through a few of these. Huh. An uncanny specimen. Uh, I'd actually rather lower my terror rather than uh, attend a service at a church. Just in the heavens. Okay, so apparently, relaxing stroll is the one with the terror. Let's just do that a few times. <laughs> so the people of Port Avon go, is he walking past the window again? Why does he keep walking past the window? He's doing laps. We're doing laps of Port Avon. Let's go. <laughs> How much do we have left? Surely. Oh my god, we still have we still have welcome in Port Avon. What's going on? This is brilliant. Oh, I didn't mean to click that one. Oh well, more supplies, wonderful. I'm so sorry, this is riveting, I know. It's absolutely riveting. I think that's low enough. You are no longer welcome, you've worn out your welcome. Wonderful. Now we go to the bazaar, we give this man... Uh, is this going to help the stovepipes and the tacky share power in the reach? Who's this helping? 
Ah, I need the stovepipes. Wonderful. God damn it, they are actually... I bought too many. Whoops. We don't have room. Uh, oh, there's a problem. Can I sell you... Did I not pick up the bloody... God, you moron. I'm a moron. <sighs> oh well. Whatever. Fine. I'm, go I'm going to Carillion now. Oh, I could go there and come back and get the... Ow. Oh. Why do I never just pick these things up? I even said... I even said there's a good chance they'll be selling them on a bargain. God damn it. You know what? I'm going to cut this bit out. I'm going to do it. If it's still there, I'm going to go do it. And then I'll come back when I'm probably at Carillion, unless something interesting happens. <sighs> and here we are coming up to Carillion now. I went back to Port Ivan. Did the uh, seeds. Worth it for 240 sovereigns, yes? It's fine. Every little bit helps. Still need to do the wealth ambition. I'm not quite there just yet. I think I need 5,000 sovereigns. Then there's an argument, should I buy the new engine? Yeah, I don't know. But either way, here we are. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. That's a lot of money. And we gained an otherworldly artifact. But either way, this seems like a good place for me to end the episode. We got the new mascot, the Sky... What was the name? Sky, 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 Sky Warn Urchin. And uh, I don't know if there's a story, if not, but either way, we have a. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, see you next time.